subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. The European Southern Observatory for the very first time has confirmed the presence of a dusty moon-forming disk around a young planet located 400 light-years outside our solar system. The discovery provides a unique glimpse into the formation of planets and its moons. This discovery could in turn answer many questions about how our solar system formed and help confirm whether certain theories around planet formation are correct. In this episode, I take you on a journey 400 light years away to an orange dwarf star and its two youthful planets and explore a very dusty ring that may hold answers to how moons form. I am Mohana Basu and this is Pure Science. The dust in space around a star is critical in forming celestial objects around it. Dust around stars contains elements such as carbon and iron which can help form planetary systems. When a star is in this forming disk known as the T Tauri phase, it ejects extremely hot winds. Although much of the material from the disk is still falling on the star, small groups of dust particles clump into larger objects. Dust clumps become pebbles, pebbles become larger rocks. These are the building blocks of planets and are sometimes called planetesimals. Where the disk known as circumstellar disk is colder and far enough from the star that water can freeze, tiny fragments of ice hitch a ride with dust. These dirt-laden snowballs can aggregate into giant planetary cores. These colder regions also allow gas molecules to slow down enough to be drawn onto a planet. This is how Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, the gas giants of our solar system, are thought to have formed. During this process, a planet can also acquire its own circumplanetary disk which contributes to the growth of the planet by regulating the amount of material falling onto it. The gas and the dust in the circumplanetary disk can come together into progressively larger bodies through multiple collisions, ultimately leading to the birth of moons. But astronomers do not yet fully understand the details of these processes. This is because we have never really seen such a planet with a circumplanetary disk in action before. Such disks will be found only around younger planets. More than 4,000 exoplanets have been discovered until now, but all of them were detected in mature systems. Only 15 planets outside the solar system have directly been observed by telescopes. Moreover, optical studies of planetary systems are notoriously challenging. Since the star is so much brighter than the planets, it is difficult to filter out the glare. It's like trying to click a picture of a bird in the sky on a very sunny day. So features around the planet become difficult to discern. For example, take a look at this image of the circumplanetary disk taken in 2018 using ESO's very large telescope. To discern the features around the star, the star itself has been blacked out by the coronagraph mask. A coronagraph is often used in solar studies. It is a specialized instrument designed to block out the light of the sun so that researchers can glimpse the burning star's hot, thin outermost layer known as the corona. To work around this problem, the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array or ALMA was used. The wavelength that ALMA picks up is an advantage for planetary studies because stars emit comparatively little light at millimeter and submillimeter wavelengths. The star observed is known as PDS-70. Located in the southern constellation of Centaurus, we would have to make a 400-year-long journey at the speed of light to reach it. This nestled amidst millions of stars, the PDS-70 is an orange dwarf. Orange dwarf stars usually have masses between 0.5 and 0.8 times the mass of the Sun 
and surface temperatures between 3600 and 4900 degrees Celsius. These stars are of particular interest in the search for extraterrestrial life because they stay stable for much longer around 18 to 34 million years. Now, orbiting PDS-70 are two giant Jupiter-like planets. These have been named PDS-70b and PDS-70c. The dust disk has been detected around PDS-70c. This artist's animation zooms out from the close-up view of PDS-70c. While moving away from the PDS-70c, we first see the moon-forming disk Surrounding the planet, the white point is the location where scientists believe a moon could already be forming. Now as we move further, the orange dwarf star at the center of the system comes into view, as does PDS-70b. We also see a large ring, a remnant of the circumstellar disk from which the two planets have formed. Astronomers have been interested in this system for a long time since they found hints of the moon forming disk around this exoplanet way back in 2018. This was the picture that researchers had created in 2019 by stitching together data from ALMA along with data from the Very Large Telescope. But since the team could not clearly tell the disk apart from its surrounding environment, they could not confirm its detection until now. The latest high-resolution ALMA observations have now allowed astronomers to gain further insight into the system. In addition to confirming the detection of the circumplanetary disk around PDS-70C and studying its size and mass, they found that PDS-70B does not show clear evidence of such a disk, indicating that it was starved of dust material from its birth environment by PDS-70C. Not only do these visuals show how moons arise, they are also extremely important to prove theories of planet formation that could not be tested until now. The observations also allowed the team to estimate the size of the disk for the first time. The disk has about the same diameter as the distance from our Sun to the Earth and enough mass to form up to three satellites the size of the Moon. Other research teams working with other types of telescopes around the world are also studying this system. In April this year, for example, NASA used the Hubble Space Telescope to study this system. Hubble's ability to detect ultraviolet light offered unique look at radiation from extremely hot gas falling onto the other planet in this system, that is PDS-70b. The ultraviolet radiations allowed the team to directly measure the planet's mass growth rate for the first time. The planet has gained five times the mass of Jupiter over a period of about five million years. At present, the rate at which it is gaining mass has dwindled. At the current rate, the planet would only increase by approximately an additional one hundredth of a Jupiter mass in one million years. So this suggests that the planet is at the tail end of its formation process. Contrary to ESO's observation which found no evidence of a dust disk, NASA researchers said that the planet PDS-70b is encircled by its own gas and dust disk that is siphoning material from the large circumstellar disk. The NASA researchers said that magnetic field lines from the circumstellar disk down to the exoplanet's atmosphere are funneling material onto the planet's surface. Clearly, much is still not understood about this system. While existing telescopes continue to look at the system, ESO says that the Extremely Large Telescope or ELT will help get an even deeper understanding of the planetary system. The ELT is currently under construction on the Ciro Amazons in Chilean Atacama Desert. With its much higher resolution, it will become possible to map the system in much more detail. In particular, by using the ELT's Mid-Infrared ELT Imager and Spectrograph or METIS, 
The team will be able to look at the gas motions around the PDS-70C to get a full 3D picture of the system. If you like our videos, do consider paying for a subscription to the print. You can do so through the links in the description box below.